Hello, kobolds, and welcome to Music Disc 11. This is a horror game by Lachlan Shelton. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, we actually played another one of their games, The Forest Stairs. So I thought that this would be interesting in order to continue playing some more of this dev's games and also switch it up a little bit and play a Minecraft-inspired fan horror game. I have no real idea of what this will entail other than it's going to be a spooky little experience. And we're running. I actually personally don't know all that much about Minecraft, so if this incorporates the lore, I'll be kind of curious because I know I know a little bit, but I haven't really played all that much Minecraft <laughs> myself. I thought that these were wiggling. I thought the bookcases were wiggling. Did we just cough? I'm so confused. I think I just interrupted a cough. Hello? <laughs> We are very heavily breathing. Are we doing okay? Have we breathed in too much asbestos from these really old books? Can we light this? Aw, oh, really? No? I'm actually kind of surprised we can't light that. I was expecting to be able to. Hello? We can't run, so there's that. A lot of bookcases. Mostly... Excuse me? Hello? Is there a friend in the darkness? That's a skull. Is this just more of a maze? Oh, we have it. We found it. E to interact. We got the music disc. It's just an old music disc. Oh, no, I guess we didn't get the old music disc. Can we not pick it up? Or I guess we just kind of interact with it. Is that it? I'm so confused. Okay, well, that's all. That's all we came to see, folks. All right, everybody. It's, it's done. We're done at the end. We got the music disc. We saw it. That's all we wanted to do is see it and say hi. Boom. GG easy. We're done. We can get out now? Excellent. I'm sure absolutely nothing bad will happen to us now. Oh, Hello? Something's down there. Oh, it's a painting. You look very strange. This game, this is really, really, really weird looking though. Like, there's something about all the textures that's just like off. Oh, do we, um, hello? Interact? Is this a book? <gasps> Do we get a little bit of a lore? <gasps> Do we get that capital L? Do we get that big L? No, wait, hold on. That's a loot. No, wait, hold on. No, we don't want the big L. Oh, wait, we got a key? How did we get a key? <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know if this is part of sort of like Minecraft lore, but we have a key. So um, I guess let's interact. Open the door. We never actually took the music, so, like, are we gonna hear it? I guess not. Maybe? <laughs> so many questions. We're just booking it, though. We are absolutely just booking it. That's an interesting... <laughs> it's Hero Brine. We're gonna go back and see and check on if there's a thing that we can use the key with, because I don't know what the point of exploring that entire area was then if we didn't actually have anything to use the key on in particular. Was the key just only to exit? All right, so we got the key this time. Now, what happens if we go backwards? Because the door is still open, so presumably, maybe we can use this key on the door that was all the way back. Because this isn't the door that we came from. This is the door that is nearest to the music disc. But maybe we can use this to unlock the door earlier. I will go see if the music disc has changed. I guess it's still just kind of here, just on the ground. So there's nothing we can really do to interact with it directly. But we do have a key. Even our skin looks really weird. It actually makes me slightly uncomfortable to look at. Like, if you're a far enough distance away, the textures all look pretty okay. But once you get close, like the closer you get to something, it just looks very, very grungy. It's more of a, it's more, um, more, it's closer to, like, body horror almost. Wait, hold on. We can? Wait, okay. That is different. <laughs> Come on. I got jump scared by coughing. All right, well, we have some hero brine. <laughs> Thanks, Hero Brian. I appreciate that. I might scramble that, might not. <laughs> Hello, Hero Brian. Hello. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> um, um, 
bum, 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 bum. Oh, gosh. Okay, I think we're just supposed to run. <laughs> Are you laughing at us? I don't know what's going on, but the running is so slow. We can't actually run. And I'm a little bit worried he'll clip through walls. I really hope not or else we're screwed. But we can get away. Is that it? Are we good? Nope, we're not good yet. Nope, there he is. We're getting away though. That's good though, right? Is it now? Where do we run to next? Oh no, can we even open the door? We can't open the door. Come on, can we work out a deal? Can we work out a deal, you and me? Come on, come on, give you just six feet, please. <laughs> oh, it just exits. It just exits, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, well, my slight disappointment that we can't actually get away from here right in the end away. My slight disappointment with that away is actually pretty interesting. <laughs> I forgot about... I See, it's been so long since I've had... Then since I've really interacted with Minecraft or seen some of the, the, the creepy pasta lore that I actually basically completely forgot about Hero. That Herobrine was actually a thing and very, very big a, a while ago. Um, <laughs> but that's gonna be it for now. So thank you. Thank you for this little bit of spoopy, uh, uh creepypasta horror. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna have you do tonight is a little bit different. You're gonna wanna stay on your bed the entire time. Make sure you don't get off. Make sure you don't touch the floor. You're gonna wanna bend your head down. You're gonna wanna look under your bed the entire time for two very bright eyes. And you're gonna wanna reach, reach out your hand. It's gonna be very difficult. You're gonna wanna reach out your hand and wait until it's grasped by what's going to feel like almost like soft, smooth stone, okay? And you're gonna wanna shake. You're gonna wanna shake, and that will keep you safe. Maybe for another night or two, maybe longer. But that will keep them from coming. 